Welcome guys, my name is Ricardo Pereira and today I'm going to show you how to create a PDF using the document template. So don't leave and learn Linux with me. So before we start, I'm going to show you what is currently on the project. So if you go to the domain module, so you can see that we have one entity called request. And this entity have three attributes, one for the name, status, and request ID. The status have enumeration, so with the value strapped and submitted. And regarding the access rules, we have the user with full access, so he can create and delete, and have read and write access to everything. We also have another entity called PDF file, that is a generalization of the file document entity and regarding the access rules so we have also full access to everything we also have available two pages so one for the overview of the request entity and then one to create some objects and to start we are going to resources folder if you don't have one you can create right click add other and create a new document template. So as a name, we can write PT request and click OK. It will create a document template and we can start by seeing some properties. So currently you have some options on the appearance. You can change the page format. So you have multiple here or you can create your uh, custom format. We have also some uh, customizations for the page, for the pixels, you can define a margin, the left, right, top and bottom. You have the option to show the header and the footer on the first page. So I'm going to keep it as a yes. We also have the possibility to have a header. As you can see, it adds like um, a space for the header and same for the footer. You can also customize the style of the page. So you have some uh, customizations for the font, or you can also add your own uh, custom styles. And to start, you're going directly to the toolbox, drag and drop a table between the header and the footer, and we can select the number of columns and the rows we want for this table. For now, we can just leave one column, one row, and inside this table and drag and drop a data view for the request. So right click, select entity, go to your module and select the entity request. Now we are going to drag another table because we have three attributes, we can just select three columns. And here we can right click on the table and then select add row below. So to have like a title, uh, so header part and also the values for each uh, attribute. So for the headers, we can select a static label. You go to the properties and change the caption. So we can start by writing the request and then you can just copy and paste in the other columns and just change the caption so one for the name and other for the status let's go back to the toolbox select a dynamic label and start it on the second row right click select attribute and select request ID for the first column and do the same for the others. So second, select the name and the last one, the status. So for the footer, we can add just a page number label, but before we need to add also a table, one row, one column, and just drag and drop the page number label to this table. For the header, we can just select also a label on column one row and also a static label. 
and then we can just go to properties and select the custom style so we can change the style um, the font size to let's say 18 and then also select the style to italic and also change the color to let's say dark blue click ok ok again and then let's just change the caption to uh, request PDF. Now we can go to the overview page. Right click on the data uh, grid and then add button, action. Double click on this button and write generate PDF. One click event, you can select all a microflow and then create a new one so ACT quest generates PDF click OK and click to show here we can give some permissions to the user role and go to the toolbox drag and drop the create object select entity and create the PDF file object. Click OK. Go back to the toolbox. Select uh, Generate Document Action. Double click. As a file, you can select the, the object we just created. Document type, select PDF. And as a template, then go to Resources and select the document template request. And as you can see, it already detects the widgets inside the document template. And in this case, needs uh, an argument because we have a data view there. Um, and it automatically selects the, the parameter that we have here. Just click OK. If you want to change the name of the final uh, PDF, you can just drag and drop a change object, select the new PDF file. Click in new name and then write the name that you want to see. So we can just PDF example dot PDF and also delete after downloads. We can set this attribute as true. To analyze, we can just download the file. So download file action our document, new PDF, and click OK. Now we can execute the project. So click in View App, username MX Admin, password 1, and then select one of the objects request and click in generate pdf so it starts to generate and then as you can see you already have all the information so request id one name test and status status as draft we can just remove this title from here so go to the document template and just delete this title so we can create one more document template to export all the request objects. So duplicate this document template, rename to dt request list, and also duplicate the microflow and change it to ACT request generate PDF list. Go to the document template, remove data view, and drag and drop a data grid. Right click, select an entity, quest, and here you can right click, select an attribute, quest ID as a first column. To the second, you can select name, and we need one more column, so you can right click 
add column to the right right click on the column select attributes and select status and for the column's name you can select the column properties and as a caption you can write best id for for the name you can write name and the same for the status so status go back to the microflow we just created so regarding this request you can delete go to the toolbox and then retrieve all the request objects from the database so from database select request branch all xpath can be empty and just click ok double click on the generate pdf action and then we need to select another template request list and as you can see it auto detects the request list and just click ok make sure this microflow also have the permission and then go to the overview and just drag and drop the microflow we just created and run the project click view app select mx admin and then click in act request generate pdf list and as you can see it generates the pdf with all objects uh, we have regarding the request entity so if you want to apply some style to this table you can go to the document template and click on the data grid and you have an option to uh, change the appearance so cell spacing cell padding so you can just give some values here also for the padding you can also customize uh, the font the table so let's change the font to times size also increase to 15 and then you also have some cell styling let's add a solid style to the top border and for the others and also change the background color to dark blue click ok and execute the project again so go to your application click to login and now click again to generate pdf list and as you can see now we have some space between the cells and also some padding and the background color also changed to dark blue thank you guys for watching don't forget to leave a like and i hope to see you in the next video bye bye